guys, how you doing today? This is a quick little video on how to make a GMRS antenna out of coax cable. Just a quick little, you know, throw in your backpack, bug out bag, antenna. And I went on to the dipole length antenna calculator and I typed in my frequency that I needed uh, for GMRS. And that gave me the length, the total length is 12 inches and 12.1 inch and so each one's gonna be six and a half inches on both sides so what I did was I already already measured it where I need to cut and I got my knife this is a razor blade by the way and I very gently cut just to the line not all the way through just to the braid Then you gotta work that cable off. So I'm actually gonna split it. This is probably the most tedious part about this. And you have to be very careful. Do not cut yourself. A little bit more down here. And should just peel right off like that. Discard those. There you go. That. Now what you're gonna want to do. You're gonna want to bunch this braid up. Try not to damage it. And then just put a little hole right here. I could have used some better coax, but this is what I had just laying around. Then you gotta get this internal wire out through here. Okay, I lied. I think this might be the hardest part. Yeah, try not to break the braid. Okay. So I'm going to work this out and I'll get back to you in a second all right you got it started you need to simply take your time with it slowly separate those then get this carefully straighten it back out this will be your ground plane Remove the insulation. Put that aside. Okay. Now I got my two lengths. Now this looks a little long, so I'm going to go back to my calculator and I'm going to remeasure this and then I'm going to cut it to the length I need.
And also, for this, I got a connector with the ground. Got my ground cable. And then I got an antenna amplifier. And I cut off the other end, you know, the simple coax end. And I had an old antenna laying around, so I just used the diode of that. Kind of made myself a little casing. And there's an adapter for it. I haven't gone online and checked to see if there's adapters, but I'm sure there is. Okay. That's screwed on. I'm going to go back and remeasure real quick. Make sure it's all tuned, and then we'll give it a test. Okay, so I got it all trimmed and ready. So both of them are at 6 inches, so we're 6.1 inches. And then what you can do at the end of here is you can make another little hole and then put like a string through there as your insulator and then something that's a little weight. So that when you hang this up, and then also you need to cut a little eyelet for here. And then you can just hang it and it'll be your little dipole. Alright, I'm going to unplug it from here. I'm going to go connect it to my extension coax cable. And that's about 15 feet long. And we'll get that hooked up and we'll start running a test. Okay, so I just got to hang in there. Sorry, I got the AC running, but... Alright, yeah, let's give it a little test. You are you Echo 980. Can I get a signal check on my new antenna, please? Uh, you sound pretty good at times. You're kind of in and out there, Josh. Ten four. Um, yeah, I made another antenna. This is a uh, coil up, um, pretty much bug out bag antenna. So I was just giving it a little test. I uh, appreciate the comeback. Thank you very much. WRU Echo 980. I'm monitoring on the side. WQYD 470. Okay, so it does work pretty good. Yeah, it's just a quick little bug out bag antenna for GMRS.